let's talk about Leah Thomas because I was fascinated that you got one of her teammates. Um, this is the first again. I've I've seen one of the teammates actually on cam, but incognito, and it's absurd that they have to do it. But I understand why, and she's worried about being called transphobic and so on. Uh, and here's what she had to say about swimming with Leah Thomas and, at the UPenn swim team. Soundbite five. If you even bring up the fact that Leah swimming might not be fair, you are immediately shut down as being called a hateful person or transphobic. But there's never any conversation. The coaches don't sit everyone down and acknowledge what everyone's really upset about. So Pat actually brought in people high up in the athletic department to talk to us. They brought in someone from like the LGBTQ center. They brought in someone from the psychological services. So you, you're upset about what's happening. And so yeah. you need psychological help. Yeah. And they told us in this meeting, they said, look, we understand there's an array of emotions, but Leah's swimming is a non-negotiable. However, we can help you make that okay. That's what we're here for. So you're anonymous for this interview. Why did you decide that you can't have your face out there saying these things? They've made it pretty clear that if you speak up about it and you say anything negative, that like your life will be over in some way. Like You'll be lost all over the internet as a transphobe if you come out and then you'll never be able to get a job. Sick, Matt. Sick. I mean... <sighs> yeah, and you know, the left, they love to use the term uh, gaslighting. It's one of, one of the many massively overused terms in, our, in public discourse today. But that's, uh, that right there is, is gaslighting. What, what those girls were subjected to, those women were subjected to, is gaslighting, where they're being told that you, know, you're, you are the one with the problem. You, you're the one who needs counseling if you don't want to be in the locker room with somebody with a penis like we're, we're gonna now, now 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 it's you now you're the issue and first we're gonna bring in lgbt activists to uh harangue and scold you and if you still have a problem then you can you know you can go to counseling that's that's a uh, one version of this kind of thing there have also been uh recent reports even in a more severe way of what women in uh, women's prisons are being subjected to where mm -hmm. they're allowing men into these women's prisons like taking taking violent criminal men and locking them into jail cells with women. Uh, many of these women have histories of, of sexual abuse. And um, the, the few women who have had the opportunity to speak out about it, because the thing is, if you're in a, a prison, you're, you're not going to have very many opportunities, but the few that have had the opportunity have said it's the same kind of thing, but worse. Where, okay, if you have a problem with it, then you can have counseling and we'll put you in protective custody, which means solitary confinement. <sighs> um, cruel and unusual punishment. It's like a it's a constitutional violation, and this is what's happening at the behest of uh, the you know gender ideologues. The irony of refusing to look at someone like Leah Thomas and say you might need some therapy, you're going through something, you might need to work this out with a professional. They won't do that, but they will look at the biological women, the so-called cis women, and say you're going to need therapy to get over these feelings you're having, which are not appropriate feelings. You need to not be upset about this, and therefore, here's a doctor. <laughs> like Only the women having actual upset reactions to um, swimming against a biological man get the, the therapy they allegedly so badly deserve. <laughs> okay, so here's Leah Thomas, by the way. We didn't get to play this earlier. She responded, not exactly to this, because this wasn't out yet, but the teammates have spoken out anonymously in print and so on before. And uh, Leah Thomas gave an interview to ABC this week, and she was asked about the upset teammates. And here's her response, SOT3. Women who signed the letter anonymously said that they absolutely supported your right to transition, but they simply think it's unfair for you to compete against cisgendered women. You can't go halfway and be like, I support trans women and trans people, but only only to a certain point where if you support trans women as women and they've met all the all the NCA requirements, and then I don't know if you can really say something like that. Trans women are not a threat to women's sports. <laughs> OK, then I won't go halfway. Then I'll stay on zero and I won't meet you halfway at all because I'm not going to 10. She like the nerve of that, Matt, for her. How does she know? 
She's not a woman. She doesn't get to say after 20 years living as a man that now she's a woman and that anybody objecting isn't really supportive of trans people. Like, did you swim in the pool like all of your teammates did when they were going through puberty and they started getting their periods and it's a terrifying event for a young girl to get into a damn pool because you don't know what's going to happen. You haven't managed things yet. Did you swim with breasts growing off of you and trying to figure out how to move your arms and still win? No, you didn't. You went overnight from male to female, and your accomplishments on the women's leaderboard are not that of a woman. They're not. But she says we, we're not allowed to meet her halfway just to, to be polite or to be kind or to try to be loving and respectful. It's zero or ten. Yeah, and as far as that goes, I actually, that part I agree with for the reason that you just said. Yeah, don't yeah. go halfway. So I'm, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go halfway in, uh, in affirming and and coddling, I'm going to go zero percent of the way at all. I'm just not. I I'm not going to play the game at all. And that's why I also think. I mean, the the, the women who signed this letter, and I don't blame them for I me. Mean, they're put in this situation, and not not uh, not a situation that they should be in. And they, but but they were put in the situation, handling it the best they could. But you know, if I'm signing a letter like that, I'm not going to say anything about hey, we support you and your identity. I'm not going to do any of that whatsoever because that's not your job. You know, and I also think, by the way, that. Look, I, I have I have a lot of sympathy for especially the kinds of situations that Abigail Schreier writes about of adolescent girls who get swept up into this and become yeah. indoctrinated and everything else, and they've got institutions that are that are dedicated to making them confused. I got a lot of I have a, a lot of sympathy for them. I have to tell you that Leah Thomas, uh, I just I really have no sympathy at all. I, what, what I see here is just raging narcissism yeah. where nobody else matters but him he was also asked in that same interview uh, about well do you have you know a biological advantage and and the answer was a, dancing around it evading and then finally well this uh, this makes me happy i'm happy yes well, that's about, exactly right it's not a, so so that's it that's all that matters as long as you're happy it doesn't make it no one else no one else rates no one else counts it's all about your happiness um i just don't I, I'm not going to excuse that because someone is allegedly gender confused. That is just narcissism, and it's totally unacceptable. Yeah, and I think that's the way it should be. Uh, it should be confronted. You tired of feeling like someone's always watching you on the internet? It's creepy. Maybe advertisers know a little bit too much about you, or you're concerned about the privacy of your identity. Using incognito mode will not solve the problem. Mm-mm. IP Vanish VPN is here to help you. They will protect your right to privacy and help you stay anonymous online. IPVanish helps you safely browse the internet without exposing your private details to third parties. You can use IPVanish on your computers, tablets, phones, even devices like your Fire Stick when you're streaming media. When you use IPVanish, all of your data is encrypted. IPVanish makes you virtually invisible online. It's that simple. IP Vanish is now offering an incredible 70% off their yearly plan for our listeners with a 30 day money back guarantee. That is like getting nine months for free. IP Vanish, super easy to use. All you have to do is tap one button and you are instantly protected. Take your privacy back today with a brand rated 4.6 out of 5 on Trustpilot. Go to ipvanish.com slash Megan and use that promo code M E G Y N to claim your 70% savings. I-P-V-A-N-I-S-H dot com slash Megan. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.